welcome to just vibing vibes welcome let's talk about love islands in that episode okay the episode opened up with joe is having a chat with josh and um him still trying to make it seem like okay it was a big thing that still happened more than what it was and uh him and josh kind of agreed to disagree and that was that and then josh then put me to the side just to confirm that just to check that everything that she said this is what he said that he just hopes that everything that she's telling him is the truth. So that was that. Jesse was not telling Joey that he should stop talking about Grace. You know what I mean? Like, even if you don't feel like a connection is strong, all of that, stop talking about her. Like I said before, Jesse is playing a game. She wants to get to the final. She knows she's a publicist. She understands or whatever she is. It's something that has to do with media. So she knows that being quiet and acting like their relationship is so strong like she's so understanding of his essences is good for the public to see you cannot be fighting with your man because what's more fight they will say compatibility and voting people will not vote for you so she has that sense and she knows that so that's the reason why she's just like doing sweet 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 even matilda has gotten the ick since but somehow i feel like she kind of like him is kind of weird like she has the ick but she kind of likes him as a person and then now she does not know where to go but i feel like she's also had the ick but she's just smiling and all of that stuff because they are all playing a game that's all i'm saying grace told ruben off i'm glad that she told ruben off i can't even lie because like why would you be with someone and then be making all those jokes like what was the point of doing something to annoy her because you're jealous like it makes no sense anyway whatever the case is they, they agreed to um to squash it and he said that oh he's gonna follow her like a puppy dog or some like a puppy dog or something like that anyway that was it it was good they are fine everything is fine and then mimi then told everybody that yeah she wanted to just have a private chat with ayo so she told joey to go and call ayo but she still forgets to say the terrace i feel like she at least i wanted to have a private so i thought the terrace is the only place we can have a private conversation because the other place is the hideaway and everybody will see me go there that's the only place that I can be i don't want any i didn't want anybody's eyes to be on us and all of that stuff I feel like she should have actually explained that as a terrorist because now they're going to see the terrorists are going to see her kneeling down and walking, you know, like crawling so that nobody will see her and it's going to be a thing. That's what I'm saying. So I think she should have said that as a terrorist. The next day in the morning, Ayo did not make just tea. I think that's the only day he didn't make her tea. I think Ayo is not used to doing acts of service anyway. I don't think that's his love language at all. I don't know what his love language is. But let me just say this. Ayo is beginning to look okay to me back again. You know, there was a point he was looking very ugly because he was really mean and he was kind of draining me. me. But I can tell you this for free. <laughs> Ayo is draining Jess. Like, she's happy. She's her bubbly self with grace. But with Ayo, is always like them serious. Like, now he's talking more, though. Like, he's making full sentences. Because Jess is not going to pretend to understand or try to piece together, like, a puzzle. What he's saying, she doesn't do that. So, he's actually making clear sentences. But she's he's draining her. Like, honestly, she came in very bubbly. And now she's just, like, drained. Anybody that's with Ayo is drained. They really do like the guy. But he's draining her. I like the fact that when he spoke with her no he spoke with sean later on though but let me just talk about that he did say that he cares about her happiness he wants her to be happy when she's not happy he's not happy that's a good thing but ayo you need to learn how to actually it's not even about other external forces you need to learn how to make your girl really happy and confident in what you have and comfortable you know what i mean i don't know what you do to suck the life out of them but you need to figure it out when you go outside because i think it's already too late right now but then when he had the chat with jess and jess wanted to just double check about the whole uh secret mission thing and then just ask him you never felt like you wanted to weekend do things with her he said no 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 very loud ayo <laughs> on sunday there's gonna be the grafties it will show you saying that you still like mimi it should say that you want to weekend do feeling like the things with mimi it's gonna show that part yeah they're gonna cut the part where you say you, you want them both i don't think they showed that part but or maybe they did but it's gonna show that you still want the girl so now you will not have more to explain you would have said that maybe there was a time you know when she came back i felt the way i really wanted you know and when josh came i felt a little bit jealous but then i got over i realized that you were the one that i wanted sometimes you kind of have to say the truth and just you know what i mean and just maybe garnish it a little bit but the truth helps when you want to lie not just lie outright because now he's gonna um whatever on his face but i do think that Joey is right. He did do Josh a favor and Mimi the biggest favor. She might not see it. Now, you know when they say every disappointment is a blessing. When you think that something is going wrong for you, but it is God. It's working for your favor. Literally, this works for Mimi's favor. Because now she's explained everything. She's even explained the terrace to Josh. So when everybody sees it, even if she, maybe she hasn't explained the terrace to everybody else, when they see it, Josh will be confident in what they have. But she also saying that when in, during the dates with Josh, she said, I always knew that it was you. 
Mimi, it was not given that you knew that it was Josh. It was given that you wanted Aya. You were literally crying, saying that Josh Princess treatment is like too much. But Aya's one is so simple. So you were not sure. Your head was scrambled. You could have blamed my head. I was like, deep down inside, I like the way Josh treated me. So I knew that the best person for me was Josh. Maybe that would have been better. But say that I always knew that it was you. Even during all those periods, nah, girl, you were trying to go back to bondage, living with bondage, struggle, love. Like the one Jess is in now. Like Jess and Ayo are very better suited because Jess is more bubbly, more open. Say, but Ayo is also still draining her. Whereas Mimi and Josh too are very suited because uh, Josh is more outspoken and all that stuff. And Mimi is calm, bubbly, and then so Josh fits her because like honestly i like the switch i'm so happy that mimi is not with ayo i can't lie to you like even if mimi had come back from casa and was still with ayo and ayo did not have this i would be happy if mimi is not with ayo because from the beginning for a long time since uma came to the villa and ayo did that stuff i don't want i didn't want ayo with mimi so i'm happy now that she's happy and they're done so let's see how what kind of damage this graft is she's going to do i feel like the process is a bad mean one making them recouple final recouple before now the final recoupling nothing was um not what i expected i expected everything anyway but somehow when i saw harry and lola couple up i'm like god you guys failed in your mission as a bombshell honestly there was no need bringing them in they shouldn't have they would have been better off without bringing them in so josh told me so during the dates they they got this teddy bear like a crochet teddy bear and it was so it's so it was really looking good josh was going for the wild one mimi is like no i like the one that mimi chose it's more aesthetically pleasing it was really good and then they named it jomi i mean jomi that's how they say it. but I, when i say my hair i see jomi like josh then me so jo jomi but anyway i think they call it jomi but i call it jomi whatever you want to call it call it jomi jomi whatever but at the end of the day it is the name that we call them that is their couple name and even in the uh, text message they didn't put hashtag jomi because sometimes they will put the name that people call them they didn't put that but somehow josh came up with the name i'm like josh you guys are in tune with us that was really really cool to see and also they are now closed off exclusive whatever word you want to call it locked in uh -uh. i'm so happy for them like the fact that they locked in before joey and jesse and Joey keeps saying that, oh, we're not, we're not, locked, we're not closed off, we're not closed off, we're not closed off. There's this fly that just keep coming in because of the window is open and the lights is on. It's just like doing like this on the, on the camera and it's just doing my head in. But anyway, they are all like, they are, I feel like Joey should have locked it up with Jesse, like closed off, whatever I want to call it with Jesse, because he kept saying that, oh, we're not closed off. Do you want that to be the one to have the conversation with you? Like, I don't get it. But anyway, um... I feel like Ayo wants to tell Jess that he loves her. It's like at the tip of his tongue. And she's like, say it, say it, say it. And when she said the two things that she like doing nothing, eating, the next thing is... If you know what I... If you, if you get what I mean, you get what I mean. I think that's what she said with her eyes. And he got it. I was like, yeah. I like both of them together. I can't lie, but I'm not spitting my vote though. But I like both of them together. I like Jess. I've, honestly, I would prefer Jess too to find someone better than Ayo. But it is what it is. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you on Sunday night. Bye-bye!